Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm really excited today because it's playtime and I'm going to do some things that I've never done before. So I thought I'd bring you on the journey with me. I've got this big old book here that I am altering and uh, I need to do some decorative paper to back these pages in and to cover my envelopes in. So I've been trawling through the internet and Pinterest etc for inspiration and I'm going to use deli paper. Woohoo! I have never used deli paper before. It's not something we really get in the UK. Uh, so I had to send away for this. So I am really rather excited. So without further ado, let's get on. So when you've got a paper, you've got a waxy, shiny side and a dull side. It's the dull side up that you need. You need a brayer at this point. Am I too close? Shall I just bring you back a bit? A brayer and then a selection of acrylic paints. Because I'm doing the great move from downstairs old craft room to upstairs new craft room, my desk is well i'm sorting everything out so my desk is as you can imagine right here we go let's just readjust that fabulous right so here we go i've got my um sheet of deli paper and i've got some acrylics etc so i'm going to start off with this one this color is georgia clay so you literally just put a few, oh, let's shake it first. Let me just wipe that off because I uh, got a lot of oil on there. Very nice colour. Shake it first. Knew this one, so never been used before. Let's just put a few drops around and down and on the page and take the brayer and just let's just go for it and spread it out so for this i've been inspired by the work of laurie marie jenkins fabulous fabulous mixed media artist and just the world's most well some of the world's most amazing um altered books no offense anybody there so we just keep going and spreading that out i'll take i'm going to take like a bit more of that actually just put a few more random bits so we had a fantastic um, weekend with the coronation of our king. It was really good. I had family round and family staying over and all sorts of stuff going on. Afternoon tea, watching the coronation, going in the hot tub because we had some nice weather. So it was all really rather good. Right, I'm going to add another colour onto there. And I really like this. Um, oh, you know when you think, oh, what do I do? What do I do? I'm gonna go green. This is some chalk. It's acrylic, but it's acrylic chalk. I really like this colour. These are one of my favourite brands to work with. I'm gonna get some more. Now I'm not waiting for that to dry. I'm not going to clean my brayer. I'm just going to go for it. Okay. 
I'm probably going to put three colours on. You can put as many as you, as you desire. They're quite heavy work, this, uh, using a brayer. So it's my birthday on Thursday, so me and our hubby are having some nice days out together. Got some, he's got some nice meals and things booked for us. So that should be fun. And going out will be nice, just on the time, just me and him. I like that. Right. It's, um, the more you keep brayer in it, the nearer to dry it starts to become to feel. I'm going to use some yellow. This is just a primary Ooh, yellow. I've got to blob that on a bit thick there. Let's move some of that over there. And off we go again. You guessed it. I'm going to try and make sure everywhere is covered now. I don't want to really be seeing the paper through. Yes, I've got some nice restaurants booked. Well, he's booked them. Some that we've never been to before that have been recommended by friends. So we're going to go and try them out. holiday last year we went to Peru but we've nothing but for this year because we're doing a lot of work on the house and garden so we're uh, at the minute just having days out and things and treating ourselves so we'll probably have a stopovers as well who knows who knows what we've been planned for this weekend I like that very much to dry. My plan is to do quite a few more of these papers to uh, get my stocks up. So yeah, let's get the next one. So again, shiny side down. I'll just give my brayer a little wipe. Not that that's made much difference. Right, for this one I have picked this. I thought I'd picked an ochre up but I haven't I've picked gold. So we'll just try the gold. So I've got some, it says, oh, Prussian blue. I thought it was turquoise because I'd seen the turquoise. It says me right, I should have looked. There's a bit of the yellow, but hey, oh, that doesn't matter. Some acrylic paint in pink. Wild rose pink, this one's called. I do like just experimenting around with colour, don't you? I don't know what I'm going to think of the gold on here though. It's like I say, I thought I got okra, but I'm not. No way am I running upstairs to my opera. No way. Not at the moment. I've been up and down, up and down, up and down all day, taking boxes of um, craft 
the materials and I take it upstairs and sort it out, put it away, finding things that I've completely forgotten I had. So then I'm de-stashing, I'm giving things to my daughter to take into school and then lo and behold, what am I doing? Straight on eBay, buying more. I'm like, what is the point of de-stashing? I really do like that. Now, what should I do? Shall I go gold or shall I go yellow? I might have not brought the okra down. I'm not going getting it all. Let me have a look. Let me double check. Green, pink, blue. I'm gonna put I'm gonna go gold. Obviously this one was meant to be. This is why it's here. A bit thick. Oh, very nice. So I'm going to decorate these two the same. And then in a few days I'll do some more. So probably at weekend my next video. Once I've had days out with Hubby, we're going to give ourselves the three day, next three days off. So I uh, guess we'll be going looking around all the charity shops as well. You've got it. When you're out and about in different areas, it's nice to go and look in other people's, other areas. Charity shops should find different things. My hands aren't even that, that messy. So then, put that down to dry. Pick my other one up. And it's not quite dry. I'm just going to blast it with this. I do like this. This is one of my favourite stencils and it's exclusive design for, it's like A All and Create and it's www.aallandcreate.com and uh, it's supposed to be like a wood pile. It's the, my phone always rings, doesn't it? It's supposed to be like a wood pile. You know, looking down on piles of wood. Really like it. So I'm just going to get some. Um, so I've got silver here. And I'm going to put some on my fingers. And I'm not going to go all over the stencil. I'm just picking out places and points on it. everywhere. That's going to... It's the phone ringing. It'll be, it's my husband's phone now, so it definitely will be my son. I think when we go out for the day tomorrow, I think we'll just not take our phones with us. So do that. Because it's not a huge... Oh, look at that. Because it's not a huge stencil, I'm just going to have to keep moving it around. So I will just keep talking to you. She says, I was, fo I was focusing, focusing intently then. Very 
I get a smudge. A bit of a smudge. I don't really want a smudge on, but never mind. I've got one now. I've got a smudge. Oh, just picked up some of the yellow as well. Must have been a drop on there. Never mind. We can caught with that, can't we? Whoop. I'm just going to keep going and going and going on this. There's my silver gun. There it is. Don't know what the weather's going to be like. Uh, absolutely no idea what's planned weather wise. Oh, I like the where the yellow's got mixed in. I like it a lot. It's easier to do with your finger than with a brush at this point I think there we go and we'll just do a bit more over here nearly dry this now which is good right there we go let's do a little bit there and a little bit here there we go Oop, a little bit down here Right, now what I'm going to do is, um, you know this stuff, you know this stuff that you put round your pipes, you like cut it down and then it goes round your pipes on your central heating, I'm going to use this now to print on there. So I've got some white acrylic, oh, I'm just using what I have, well this is pearl white. So then, the end of this, I was thinking about, did you do potato prints when you were little? I used to love doing potato prints. I remember when we first did them at school and I was just so amazed to go home and tell my mum. Right, so just cover it and then on. Ooh, love it. Yeah, I used to love potato printing. I loved anything messy. going to do some other types of mixed media papers as well so that we've got a good selection to use from when we start to decorate this book more. I'll just put one there. There we go. Fab. How great is that? Not finished yet. I'll we'll just put that to dry. And we will just very quickly blast this. Oh, sorry, let's have a look what we've just done then. We're still on. Yes, we are. I've got these bricks, so I'll use this one. Uh, let's get the silver paint out again. Do you know, I might do this one in yellow because I really did like that yellow. Let's get the ye whoop, yellow, just drop it in there. Why don't you, Sharon? Let's clean that off. I'm just going to go sort of randomly on these bricks. 
na análová. Dystrofie. It's lovely and warm outside today, so I've got washing out on the line, which is nice. I love freshly blown laundry, especially on my bed. It's just so nice and fresh and So I've been busy washing, I've, I've done my bedroom today, tidied my bedroom, I have packed a load, I had 16 orders over the weekend for uh, things from my Etsy shop, so I was busy doing that, I like that one, I like that one as well, so I was packing some parcels. So I've had a really busy day and then tonight I'm at church. So I said to Hubby, what do you fancy for tea? Because you know we've had like party, not party food, afternoon tea. So we've had a lot of like cooked meats and fish and things that we've had like in sandwiches. But then there's been a lot left so we've been eating all that. But there's still quite a bit left so he said, um, um, and we've got cheese and pate which we just didn't get round to having so he said we'll finish all we'll finish this off tonight so i'll probably have mine after church that's nice let's just put a little bit in the middle there we'll do me a little pl a little platter when i get back from church Because he's good. He's good like that. So next week I won't be able, next Tuesday I won't be at church because I'll be at my uh, sewing group. I started a textile group attending it, became a member and then everything went wrong didn't it, I had stomach problems, I had Covid, I had this, that, the other, so I've hardly attended that group, so I'm looking forward to going next week, that's next Tuesday night, but I've got my little name badge that they give you and I've got to embroider my name badge so I need to get that done for next week as well. Oop. much easier to do this with your finger than in other ways. There we go. I'm going to put some full bricks on some of this, these spaces because full bricks look, look, do look nice. But yeah. There. Oh, I'll wash my stencils shortly. So back to the tube, back in the white paint. Well, this is pearly white. Loving it. I've got some of the yellow mixed in with it as well. Loving it. Do some half. Our circles. I love the advert on the TV for the Jaffa Cakes full moon and she takes a bite half moon. Fabulous. Right. Get the original back up. Careful not to put it in there. Right, I'm just going to give it a quick blast. But you could use texture and paste on these as well. That'll look good.
if I can get some deli paper at a good price for us in the UK, maybe into Europe, I don't know if you have deli paper in Europe, um, I'll link it at the bottom of my description here. this right so we are done let me just dry that little bit there I'll probably use this one to line my envelopes right stampies I have got some dots archive a link so I'm going to just dot on there then I'm going to dot on here oh yay yowza love it can you see the dots yay I love going into my new craft room is so organised. It's like I know where everything is and I've got um, I went to the car boot sale and I bought some good nice pretty storage and I bought um like a, a cup holder to hang my scissors on and everything is so organised. I, I love good I just keep going in and peeping at it just need a countertop yet but there's still a bed in there it's not a it's a folded up bed not a folded up a dismantled bed so until the bed is gone I can't use the room because the bed will go and then my husband will put me like a, a work top to work on I really really like this I don't know where I got well I do know where I got it from I got it from eBay but I don't know what brand it might be this there we go yay and then last but not least I've got some E6000 spray glue let's give it a good shake and I'm gonna oh Gently spray that on. Oh, do you know? I am not, I am going to gently dab that off. Because I've cleaned my nozzle. I think it still had some water, you know, in my nozzle. Let's just gently dab that off, is it? It's not sticky at all. I thought, oh, I'll be really organised and check my that my glue's spraying. Let me just spray it a bit into my bin. Hmm. I don't think it's sticky. I was going to do some. Uh, I'll just have a see my printer foil. If it doesn't. All is not lost. All is not lost. Right. Thank goodness for paper towels. I'm going to get some. This is a bottom of Fabri-Tac. I'm going to put some. You know when it's dead thick at the bottom. Just blob some on. Is with fabric tack, it is messy, isn't it? On your fingers, right? Messy, messy, messy move, right? Just put it on there, 
but it does rub off easy. Right, shiny side up with a stand up. And pull it off. Can you see the little bits of gold that are on there? You see them? Can you see? Fabulous, I love this stuff. Love it. It's like trying to remember where I put the fabric type, but I thought, well, if I just go all over, I'll hit it somewhere along the line. Hmm, look at that E6000 there. Yeah, I'd gone to test it out and it was um, blocked. So I cleaned the nozzle and ran water through it. So I've obviously still got water in the in the pipe. Never mind. This has worked just as well. There we go. Can you see the, the gold on it? See the gold on it that is beautiful love it absolutely love it that's gonna look amazing for tags and, and all sorts of things right this one's back just give this one a quick spray and uh, not a spray a quick dry Gonna get myself a mark making tool kit together because I'm really into it. But this piping, my husband gave me um, about a meter of it, which is about uh, just over a yard. So I said, "Do you want it back?" No, he said, "We can have that." Right, this one I am stamping with. It's all postcards, post not postcards, post marks. thinking do I need to open some new archival ink no you can see it faintly on there but I think I'm heading to that point in the life of this archival ink to open a new one I've used that much refresher spray on I've even ordered some new vintage photo distress because mine has been topped up and topped up and topped up that it just I don't know no matter what I do now it doesn't want to work properly that's better so this is having postcards all over it. So you can use any, anything you want to to decorate, any stamps. All right, that's that one. The archival link is going in the bin. And then the fabric and put it on again, mush it around. She do need something really sticky for this printer's file. And this time, I'm going to use contrast I'm going to use green I don't know about you but I've already started looking at ideas and things here on YouTube for Christmas I didn't do any Christmas things last year 
Oh, I, I had a couple of journals which were partly finished and I just finished them off. That's nice. You can see the green there. And I did just finish them off. Um, but this year, I'm looking at doing some things with paper bags. I'm very excited for that. That wasn't a very good one. Oh, yeah, I've got a nice swirl down there. So I've got a little file going on my computer ready for Christmas. The thing is, you get Christmas and Halloween. They're just too close, aren't they? If it were up to me, I'd just be doing Halloween all year. But, but I'm not. I'm trying to branch out. Trying to branch out. going with your printer's, printer's um, file until you think you've got enough. These are going to look great in my altered book. Fantastic. It's just a little bit pulled off some of the uh must be the fabric tech pulled off some of the deli paper. <laughs> must have been a little bit damp so I'm just gonna So I am virtually let's just get a bit up here. Then I'll be happy. I will be happy. I just buy this printer's um, foil on eBay. There's all different colours. I want to see. There we go. Fantastic. D oh sorry. Delighted. Can you see the green? Love it. So that is that one. This one is here. When I come on at weekend, I will either do a couple more or I will go straight into the folder see what time time of box the folder will probably take a little while so there we go there's two different um decorated deli paper like i say if i can find some at a reasonable price i will put a link below because uh, this seems to be really nice really really nice deli paper so i'm sharon and you've been watching be divine vintage so thank you so much i'll see you again soon Bye bye